friends welcome back in this video session of refrigeration and air conditioning subject we will start with vapor absorption refrigeration system my name is mr s v kumar assistant professor sharath institute of technology college of engineering yadra itchalkarnji so we will start with introduction to simple vapor absorption system in earlier video lecture we had deal with vapor compression refrigeration system there were five main important components of vapor compression refrigeration system compressor condenser expansion valve evaporator when few cases one receiver is also used to store liquid refrigerant temporarily but in vapor absorption refrigeration system compressor is replaced by generator and absorber unit right so compressor is not used in vapor absorption refrigeration system so this is simple vapor absorption refrigeration system so as i said compressor is replaced by this generator and absorber unit in generator generally we use refrigerant plus absorbent solution most of the time we prefer aqua ammonia solution as that is refrigerant plus absorbent liquid here ammonia is used as refrigerant and water is used as absorbent generator is heated with the help of heating coil or steam or waste heat energy wherever available so because of the, which high pressure high temperature vapors of ammonia is formed this high pressure high temperature ammonia vapors it is sent to condenser where it is condensed with the help of any cooling medium now water is shown as cooling medium here so heat is rejected from high pressure ammonia vapor and it is converted into high pressure ammonia liquid this high pressure ammonia liquid it is temporarily stored in receiver and then whenever required in evaporator it is passed through expansion valve where pressure reduces considerably and low pressure low temperature liquid refrigerant finally flows through evaporator where heat energy is absorbed from the object which is to be cooled due to which again ammonia is converted to low pressure vapor and this low low pressure vapor is passed through absorber now observe carefully in the generator we had heated aqua ammonia solution boiling point of ammonia is minus 33.33 degree centigrade and boiling point of water is almost 95 to 100 degree centigrade so if you supply heat energy to aqua ammonia solution ammonia is quickly converted into vapor and in generator weak solution is formed this weak solution contain less amount of ammonia and more quantity of water this weak solution is passed through absorber at the same time when low pressure ammonia vapor is passed ammonia vapors are absorbed in weak solution thereby it forms strong solution and this strong solution is pumped with the help of pump and again it is sent to generator again it is heated and again this cycle continues this is simple vapor absorption system which is working on aqua ammonia solution so advantages the whole system will operated at huge temperature range this is first advantage second advantage circulation volume of refrigerant is low which reduces the running cost of refrigeration evaporator size is also small as compared with others coefficient of performance will be very high here in this case load variation does not affect performance more will be the capacity that is 1000 ton 30 tons of refrigeration 91% electricity save as it does not require electricity it is working on waste heat energy so wherever waste heat energy is available we can run vapor absorption refrigeration system 
but talking about disadvantages so efficiency of absorption system will be very low when compared with others time to question will be very high as to produce cooling effect in vapor compression refrigeration system as soon as compressor is started with the help of electricity cooling effect will start produce but in this case it will take some time because heating requires some time so after heating generator will produce refrigerant vapors and after that cycle will start so it takes some time as it uses kerosene oil gas flame that's why it emits bad smell initial cost will be very high in the case of vapor absorption refrigeration system leakage will also affects the vapor absorption refrigeration system so sometimes refrigerant vapors from high pressure side gets leaked and because of that there may create any problem related to this lithium bromide which will be used as refrigerant in vapor absorption refrigeration system is corrosive in nature which may affect overall life of the system so these are the disadvantage of simple vapor absorption refrigeration system application vapor absorption refrigeration system is used wherever waste heat energy is available in abundant quantity and this vapor absorption refrigeration system is generally used in small applications like home refrigerator and small capacity air conditioning etc many chemical reactions are exothermic but these must take place at temperature below atmospheric temperature therefore absorption refrigeration system is required to remove the heat of reaction third application heat is generated during fermentation and must be removed otherwise the temperature will rise beyond control that is absorption refrigeration system maintains at 5 to 10 degree centigrade now coming back to lithium bromide water refrigeration so vapor absorption refrigeration system using water lithium bromide pair are extensive are extensively used in large capacity air conditioning system in these systems water is used as refrigerant and a solution of lithium bromide in water is used as absorbent absorbent means it absorbs heat and that heat is supplied to refrigerant lithium bromide refrigeration system is used only in application requiring refrigeration at temperature above 0 degree centigrade since water is used as refrigerant using this system it is not possible to provide refrigerant refrigeration at sub zero temperature the analysis of this system is relatively easy as the vapor generated in the generator is almost pure refrigerant that is water unlike ammonia water system where both ammonia and water vapors are generated in the generator so this is the diagram of lithium bromide refrigeration system first of all we will go through different components used in lithium bromide solution so this is the generator where water and lithium bromide solutions are heated so after this it goes to condenser right so condenser is provided here cooling water out after that it is sent back to evaporator heat exchanger is also used cooling water through this heat exchanger and pump is used to circulate water continuously from cooling water this is absorber unit and this is generator unit as i said in vapor absorption refrigeration system compressor is replaced by absorber plus generator unit and here next to absorber evaporator is there where cooling effect is produced so the evaporator and absorber are interconnected the refrigerant vapor formed in the evaporator is absorbed by absorbent in the absorber thereby maintaining the refrigerant vapor pressure in the evaporator at the low level required for continuous vaporization of liquid refrigerator to obtain refrigeration to recover the refrigerant from the absorbent it is pumped 
from the absorber to the generator where it is heated using steam or hot water advantages except for two small centrifugal pump there are no moving part so less number of moving parts are there in this lithium bromide water absorption system stepless capacity control down to 0% capacity which is not possible with a reciprocating machine and centrifugal machine no freon gas is used no recharging cost of refrigerant which will be quite substantial and inevitable in vapor compression cycle low working pressure which is the biggest advantage of lithium bromide water absorption system talking on disadvantage its coefficient of performance is very very low high heat rejection factor so requirement of higher cooling tower and pump capacity generally it has to be installed near to river or near to sea because it requires more circulating water it is corrosive in nature that's why heat exchanger must be chosen in such a way that it should not corrode next point is electrolux refrigerator system this is simple diagram of electro electrolux refrigeration system so in the generator aqua ammonia solution is heated so hydrogen gas is also used along with this aqua ammonia solution so as i said whenever waste heat energy is available so it is heated with the help of waste heat energy here as ammonia is used as refrigerant and water is used as absorbent ammonia is quickly converted into vapors and it is sent back to rectifier in rectifier if water vapor or water droplets are present it is rectified here and it passes only ammonia vapor the water vapor is collected in the rectifier it is sent back to the generator once again so only ammonia vapors high pressure high temperature ammonia vapors passes through condenser where heat energy is rejected in the condenser when this ammonia is passed through condenser it is converted into high pressure low temperature ammonia liquid this liquid is sent to evaporator where cooling effect is achieved so hydrogen gas is used in order to increase here ammonia and hydrogen is used in the absorbent so that ammonia is quickly absorbed in the absorber and this hydrogen gas is recirculated again and again in evaporator cooling effect is produced so this weak solution which is formed here weak solution but it is a hot weak solution this hot weak solution is sprinkled in the absorber at the same time the ammonia which is from evaporator that is low pressure ammonia it is passed through this hot weak solution and here strong solution is produced this strong solution is sent back to the generator through heat exchanger now remember this heat exchanger is used for heat recovery purpose means this weak solution hot weak solution exchanges heat between strong solution and thus it will take less time in the generator so this is all about electrolux refrigeration system so we will talk on advantages and disadvantages of electrolux refrigeration system so first advantages so no pump or compressor is required only one pump is used in electrolux refrigerator so no moving part second no mechanical trouble and low maintenance as compared to vapor compression refrigeration system no lubrication required and no wear and tear as compressor is replaced by generator absorber unit so there is no problem of lubrication and there is no wear and tear it's a completely leak proof it's a noiseless in operation an easy control only by heat input as i said only waste heat energy is required to start this electrolux refrigerator but 
talking on disadvantage it's a more complicated in construction it requires large space low coefficient of performance if spoiled ones cannot be repaired and has replaced fully some components get damaged we have to replace that damage it can't be repaired and if repaired then it will not run for a longer time so comparison of vapor compression refrigeration system and vapor absorption refrigeration system this question they may ask for six marks so difference between vapor absorption refrigeration system and vapor compression refrigeration system so first difference is related to energy requirement in vapor compression refrigeration system high grade energy like mechanical work or electricity is required to run vapor compression refrigeration system but in vapor absorption refrigeration system low grade energy like waste heat energy can be used therefore vapor absorption refrigeration system can be worked on exhaust system from ic engine thermal power plant etc second part second comparison is related to moving parts in vapor compression refrigeration system more moving parts are there like compressor so here there is a more wear and tear more noise in case of vapor compression refrigeration system but on the other hand in vapor absorption refrigeration system only pump is used as moving part which is small element of the system hence the operation is very very smooth it does not produce any noise or very less little noise is produced in vapor absorption refrigeration system third difference is related to cop the coefficient of performance decreases considerably with decrease in evaporator pressure on the other hand the system can work on lower evaporator pressure also without affecting coefficient of performance fourth one performance is adversely affected on partial load in case of vapor absorption system no effect of reducing the load on performance fifth difference is related to liquid traces in suction line may damage the compressor if any liquid from evaporator it gets accumulated in the suction line then it may choke and it may damage compressor but in case of vapor absorption system as there is a no compressor then it does not it does not cause any problem to generator or absorber starting method of starting six difference in vapor compression refrigeration system it is difficult in case of vapor absorption refrigeration system automatic operation of controlling with capacity seven charging of refrigerant is difficult in case of vapor absorption charging of refrigeration is very simple eighth one no effect of variation of load in case of vapor absorption refrigeration system part load performance is very low besides this you can add few more comparison like this in vapor compression refrigeration system compressor is used compressor is essential part to run cycle but in vapor absorption refrigeration system compressor is replaced by generator and absorber unit okay an example vapor compression refrigeration system is compact in nature on the other hand vapor absorption refrigeration system requires more space that's why it has to be used in industrial application while vapor compression refrigeration system is compact in nature that's why it is widely used in domestic refrigerator air conditioning etc so here we conclude today's video lecture thank you thank you very much